Okay, so I've got uh, 21 different pianos here. Um, it turns out if you go on a real hunt to find free pianos, you will find them out there. They're kind of buried here and there. Some of them um, you can only find from other YouTubers, but it's really interesting. There's quite the uh, little cottage industry of free pianos out there. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm just going to start off with the highest quality piano I have, just as our reference. And I loaded a couple of songs here. I have a one mellow composition here and more of a, uh, a rock melody here that spans uh, about four octaves so we can get the full kind of flavor of the range of the piano, put it through its paces. So um, yeah, let's have a listen. So the first piano, my kind of reference one here is uh, East West uh, Yamaha piano, um, the C90. Uh, and this is uh, definitely a mix ready piano, um, comes with a close mic and a medium distance mic. And there's even a room mic if uh, you're up in the next level, but uh, let's take a listen here. Yeah, to me, that's like pretty much what I kind of want a piano to sound like. Uh, I mean, most of the work I do is largely rock, pop, commercial, alternative. So pretty much always want a piano like that that cuts the mix, a strong attack, um, good clear notes, uh, not too washed out. But of course, sometimes you want a more intimate piano. Um, and the slower kind of jazzy piece I had before sounds a bit brash on this piano. Let's, let's take a listen. Love those low notes, though. Anyways, you get the idea. Let's go to our first freebie. So the first one is um, Amore Grand Piano from Precision Sound. These guys are cool. They have lots of like uh, low-priced instruments. Nice little company. Let's uh, let's see what they got here. That sounds pretty great. I'm just gonna A B that with the Yamaha. I mean, I'm impressed with that. That's really impressive. I'm not hearing any uh, any wacky artifacts. Interesting. And I'm just banging out some chords. I think <laughs> I think that melodic piece I'm doing. Um, one we just played, I think that's quite favorable to this piano because it's lots of doubled octave notes, nice and punchy. It sounds like it has good attack there, but when I play, um, I play something like this. Yeah, it sounds like the higher notes have more defined attack, but I mean, this is very impressive for completely free. And how big is this library? Let's, uh, Let's take a look here. There's 191 megs. That's, <laughs> I mean, that's that's pretty great. That's like 1990s size piano. So, good job. Okay, so that goes in the uh, that goes in the good bucket, I would say. Let's take a listen to Piano Wa. Ooh, do you hear those clicks on the higher notes? It 
sounds like there's a reverb. Oh, reverb off. Okay. That's better. <laughs> yeah, there's some clicks on there. There's some not perfect sample editing going on. I'm just going to A-B this with the Amore Grand Piano. Uh, right here I'm using Hornet View Meter Mark IV. This thing's great. You, know, you can just tell it to automatically set a track to, um, to a target level. I use this for quick uh, gain staging. So you can tell it to reference uh, 18 dB VU um, with a maximum peak of 6 dB and it just kind of automatically sets it. So I've been using that to get all these pianos roughly at the same volume. Ah, uh, the Amore has just got a lot more guts. Ah, uh, this one's got some sharp peaks that are keeping its average volume down. So that's why this one's a little bit quieter. I don't want to be mean and judge it based on loudness differences, but... Uh, I feel like piano wah could work. Um, in a mix, but I mean, I don't. I would only use this for like sketching out ideas, or if you're just, if you're just really kind of, if this is your only option. Um, piano wa, I would say it's okay if it's all you got, but it's got clicking on some notes. There's some, you know, uh, poorly edited samples here, so I would probably give this a pass. The uh, the amore is still in the lead here, so. Check out the next one is Bescu, Bescu Bes Upright. And that's from uh, this page, Big Cat Instruments, which is another great resource that just has tons and tons and tons of, of free instruments on there. Just uh, it's a real clearinghouse for that. And a lot of these are recognized as formerly being sound fonts that have been converted to contact instruments. I don't know who remembers sound fonts. Um, <laughs> so let's take a listen to Bekshu Upright. Oh no. Let's compare that to Amore. I mean, <laughs> wow. Uh, I, yeah, that's, yeah. That's kind of what I expect a freebie piano to sound like. Um, you know, muddy, dark, uh, out of tune. Yeah, wow. That's, th this is a big no for me, dog. Let's move on to Chapel Street Piano. This is a cool company, and they have some nice instruments here. Definitely check that out. Uh, but this was, if I remember correctly, this was a project where he sampled an old piano at his house, um, then released it for free. So this one I expect to have a bit of character. Okay, so this is kind of like the Beck shoe in that it's dark, but this has more character and stereo dynamics, I think. Let's listen to the Beck shoe. Yeah, Chapel Street sounds like the grown up sister of Beck shoe. Beck shoe's kind of mono and sad and clicky, and samples are firing weird. Chapel Street has a sound like, yeah, like you're like you're in a warm room listening to this. I like it. I mean, I'm gonna check out the other piece of this. Yeah, that's that's kind of perfect for this. this piano a lot. Now, yeah, I would use that for moodier stuff like this. Um, definitely 
not for for a punchy rock piece. I mean, maybe if I <laughs> if I slaved over it with the cue and compression, uh, I might be able to um, get it there somehow. But still, like it's clearly not meant for that kind of purpose. So uh, I think this is great for moody, atmospheric character stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using this in the future. But it, it's not your. I would say it's not your go-to pop piano. All right, so next is City Piano. This is uh, another one from the long list of Big Cat instruments. Grab this off this page here, so I'll just... Uh, so where, where is City Piano? Right, it's this red guy here. So there's City Piano, and it has different variations. I grabbed the tuned one, just in case this one isn't tuned, so let's see. So I think this is kind of a reverb on it. Let's see here. Reverb, yes. Oh, the reverb was off. <laughs> What's the like of the reverbs on? Huh. Well, this doesn't sound terrible. Let's check this against a moray. Piano's got a little bit more mud, like in the two, three hundred range, and I'm hearing some kind of slurring of harmonics here and there. It's not bad though. A lot less clear than Amore. It's kind of cool though. I, I like that. Uh... I like that background reverb, that kind of natural re reverb. And because it's caught inside the sample itself, it's creating some interesting oral dynamics there. So let's check out the tune version. I'm not sure why this exists. First of all, doesn't sound in tune. Oh, there's some weird kind of zipper noises coming out of this. So uh, it said here is digitally tuned, and that might be the problem. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no to that. I'm just getting rid of that. You don't count. Bye. So yeah, City Piano. I City Piano kind of liked. It's a decent option. It's got neat character to it. Kind of a reverby sound. Next up is Denver Grand. This is a really new one to the market. I'm not familiar with Echo Soundworks, but they have tons of sample packs and some free things. So it looks like very professional. Look at that interface. It's like really cool looking. This page is totally pro. And uh, what are they saying here? It's multi-sampled, hammer noise, key sound, round robin sampling. Let's give it a listen. That's not bad. Let's check again some more. Yeah, it's got a very bell-like tone. It sounds a little more digital to me than Amore, but it's pretty good. Yeah, that's uh, definitely, like, it doesn't have, I'm not hearing lots of nasty resonances, resonances. It's not muddy, so, yeah, this is definitely a keeper. Next up, we have Hammersmith, ooh, Sonic Couture. 
Yeah, these guys are amazing. So pretty excited to see this. So they have a Steinway Model D Grand Piano, 4.8 gigs, 21 velocity layers. This has got to be decent, right? Yeah, not bad. Let's check it with Amore. <laughs> I can't get over how good the Amore sounds. Okay, so Hammersmith is a little bit darker. It's a little bit muddy there. Not a big deal, but it's also quite warm, open, even sounding. I bet you it's better for this uh, jazzy piece. Oh yeah, you can hear the uh, you can hear the hammers. Mechanics, you can. That's cool. So you can adjust the key noise. Yeah, you can get more of the, the damper noise in there. I find that goes a long way towards adding uh, realisticness. <laughs> realisticness. Realism. We'll compare this to Denver. Hmm. Denver is very pure. Hammersmith has a bit more uh, kind of grit to it. Yeah, well, you can't go wrong with either of these. So right now, I'm totally uh, down with Amore, Denver Grand, and Hammersmith. All right, moving on to Iowa Piano. Well, this one's actually an, a individual VSTI. It's one of the only ones here that's its own VSTI, which I believe this is a maze sampler um, instrument. Um, if you're not, if you don't know, maze sampler is like this low key independent sampler VSTI that uh, came out a long time ago, got to be a good 10 years ago. But what that can do is you can make your instruments and you can export them as their own VST instruments. So uh, let's see what this guy sounds like. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I heard some weird sustain shit there. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's running out of voices. Yeah, this basically sounds like a... 1999 keyboard compared to Amore. Yeah, you can hear like the, the frequencies aren't quite as clear. It's not a very open sound. Like it's in stereo, but it sounds mono. Yeah. I don't know, especially considering that this is a third party VSTI. Who knows like how long it's gonna work for. I, I wouldn't recommend this. Again, this is more like if this is your only choice. Moving on to Ivy Audio Piano in 162. This is a pretty popular one. I've definitely heard of this one before. Oh. Bold, I like that. I mean, 
mean, I can see that cutting through a mix pretty well. What's concerning me is that I'm hearing more flamming on the high notes. Because these are all using the exact same MIDI. I just copied the same one down. If we go, let's go back to my favorite Amore. Eh? Listen to the high notes. So the high notes essentially sound like they're being played at the same time. Even though you can expect when you're doing an octave stretch, there's a bit of a timing difference, and that's part of the fullness of the sound. But when I switch back to the IV audio... Fla, 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 fla. There. It sounds like the notes are further apart, so that's suggesting to me that some of the samples haven't been lined up, the start of the sample hasn't been lined up properly, so yeah. I, I like the sound of this, though. It's kind of disappointing that the samples aren't firing right. It's punchy, though. Like, this could really work in some scenarios. Just uh, be aware that the timing isn't 100% on some of these high notes, it seems. Moving on to... I don't even know what this is. M muse, musing, musing kite for contact. Yeah, again, this sounds like mono samples that have been panned inside the instrument. So you just got kind of muddy tone. I mean, I guess you could, you could try to, uh, to save it. There, it's a bit better, I guess. Yeah, I would pass on this one. And here's the RDG Audio Free Piano. They have two free pianos. This one, I loaded up, managed to install this, so this is also its own separate VSTi, I believe, also made with the Maze sampler. But uh, check this out. So this is the initial patch. It won't load the initial patch. So I downloaded the one. This one that is called uh, Auto Sustain. So this is with the sustain pedal always on. Actually, sounds really good but the sustain pedal won't turn off <laughs> compared to Amoria. Yeah, not much comparison. If this one worked, um, oh, and also they, they have a newer version of this, um, and both Logic and Cubase uh, said this, is, this file is corrupt, uh, move it to trash. So it'd be a hard pass for me on these guys. I don't mean to, do, you know, disparage uh, free work people are doing, but uh, this thing is unstable and just doesn't seem like a recommendable product. So next is Salamander Piano. Whoa. Whoa. What is happening there? That almost sounded like ASIO dropout. Huh. I mean, this sounds really good. Switching to Moray, I'm checking against it. Huh. Salamander sounds quite good, but it's got that weird zippering effect that I heard in City Piano, was it? One of these guys. So that's too bad. It sounds it's, it sounds pretty full and great, but uh, that's disappointing. I think there's something wrong with the program. Steinway Model C. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not even sure where I got this from. It's hard to find. This is previously a sound font. Oh boy. Okay. Goodbye. This 
the summer piano. I think there's another one of our friends here. Yeah, yeah. So Yamaha Disclavier. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is from the 90s or the 80s even. But compared to what you, what else you can get, like Amore or um, any of the pro ones like Denver or Hammersmith, I'd probably pass on this. So this is a Westwood Upright Felt Piano. This comes up a lot. Let's take a listen. Oh, yeah. Okay, so clearly this is an atmospheric piano. It's okay for this kind of thing. Be good for soundtrack work, maybe. This is clearly not going to be your day-to-day -day pop piano. Let's try this one. Coming off of uh, the dampened Westwood, this sounds like glory. Let's check against Amore. Oh, right. Yeah, this actually sounds like it sounds like there was a really good sample library and then they lost something in the conversion to the contact instrument. I mean, if this was, if I was stuck with this, I could probably, you know, clean my way up out of this. Maybe roll off some mud. Yeah, in a, rock, in a rock mix, I do some big moves like that to get this to sound better. So it's not the worst. You add some reverb to that. You might be in a good position. So this is clearly another one from our friends at Big Cat. Uh, let's check this one out. Oh. Huh. At first I was like, this sounds really good. But check out those high notes. It's clicking. Again, we got some poorly edited samples. Well, that's disappointing. Let's compare this to Amore. It actually sounds like a a more reverb be Amore, but that's too bad about the samples. I mean, I would say if you threw in a dense mix, and again, if this is what you had to work with, if you put in a dense mix, you might not notice those clicks, but I, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night without happening in, in one of my mixes. So I'm gonna pass on that one. Let's try its brother here, VCSL K Piano. Eh. It's pretty out of tune, sounds like. Uh, sounds like it's pretty good recording. Doesn't sound bad, but this sounds like a uh, kind of a upright piano in, in your mom's basement. Yeah, I'm hearing some clicking there too, so I'm gonna pass on these ones. 
They're not the worst, but they're not the best. I really like that Amore Grand Piano. So I think that's going to get my top billing. So since I'm talking about how this fits into a mix, let's, uh, let's fly a tune underneath this and see how it fits in. have some fun here. Amore sounds good. Let's see this one. Yeah, this one would need some work. That's not the right one for this song. I'm not touching you, Beck Shoe.
cool. Denver could work. Yeah, Hammersmith is bringing it. Okay, really quick, I'm just gonna try Yamaha. Wow. All right, I think I'll, uh, I'll just leave it there, yeah. So clearly by the time we get back to the East-West, Yamaha, that's like, that's a mix-ready piano. Like I barely had to EQ that to get that to sit and the low notes were just really cutting through in that rock mix. So, I mean, if you got money, I'd sign up for that Composer Cloud, but otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm loving Amore Grand Piano, um, the Denver Grand, and the Hammersmith. I think those are safe bets. You can get great mixes with those kits. Everything else is a little bit hit and miss, but mostly miss. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you stuck with me this long. Um, I had chapters in the videos, so if you get bored watching the same song and over again, you can jump around. But uh, just a reminder, let me know, please, in the comments, what you like, what you didn't like. Is my test flawed? Let us leave a comment and uh, one lucky person will get their uh, their mix mastered for free. I'll send you an MP3 master of your mix for free. And uh, yeah, please sign up for the newsletter. And like I said, hopefully next video I'll have a free library uh, for you guys. So if anybody's looking for inspirational sounds for their project, uh, I have a free contact library coming up. So stay tuned. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.